Welcome to this video. This video is a beginner's guide on SAP Fiori where I would like to explain the very important and useful settings in the me area, so in your profile within SAP Fiori. Here right now I'm logged into the SAP Fiori launchpad and I'm talking about an area on this screen, it's little. But in the top right area, there you have basically your kind of um, first letter and f uh, of your first name and the first letter of your last name, so your credential of your profile. And if you click there, then you open up some kind of me area where you have really useful settings. And first of all, let's go through the recent activities. If you click the recent activities, then as you might can see, your recent activities are listed and you can click on one to open uh, the application once again. So this is useful if you would really like to jump back what you have previously done instead of searching the app or whatever on a tile on the SAP Fury launchpad and there you can direct jump to your recent activity or one of them and um, then right next to the recent activities there you can see the frequently used so what is basically the difference between re recent activities and frequently used within the recent activities every single activity is being locked and shown also some kind of search activities and within frequently used are just the applications listed that you have previously used. And down to recent activities, they can see once again frequently used. So instead of calling recent activities and then switching to the next tab, you can directly call frequently used and see within here your frequently used applications. Then uh, within the app finder, that is a really powerful tool where you can see all the groups and all the tiles so the apps that you have authorization to based on a catalog you have can also call the user menu uh, or especially also the sap menu to have a closer look within here so just go through it to see what kind of app you have you can call directly the app and uh, bottom right area there you can add the tile to um, one or multiple groups what you like to just select one and then the tile has been added to your selected group if you click once again on the pin and then to um, yeah to my home there you can uh, do also some changes and uh, especially uh, here you can see all the existing apps so you can look around and see what kind of apps are there of course you have to be authorized so granted access to those apps but then you can see this you can also search in the catalog for different apps um, and yeah the app finder is a really powerful tool to see all the existing apps to that you have authorization then let's jump back to the settings and if you open up the settings then within here you have a lot of possible settings first of all you will see um, yeah, uh, some information about your account so a name email and what kind of server you're working and then with an appearance then you basically can see what kind of theme or display settings are set up and within theme you can basically set up what kind of color you want to use what is the yeah, look and feel i've made an own video how you can also set up an own theme if you want to a custom theme so check the video if you would like to get to know more information about this then within home page you can distinguish between if you would like to show one group at a time or if you would like to show all the content so let's go to the home here right now we can just see one group at a time and if if, for example, I select show all content and click on save, then here you can see that all the content is being shown at one page. And if you scroll down, then here you can see that this moves around also on the scroll bar. And um, yeah, you can change this always back 
if you uh, select this and then click on save you then you have the previously set up setting then within spaces and pages um, spaces are also a nice technical opportunity to group also some links to one area if you for example select space and click on save then here right now you see directly um, the changes so here you can edit the page and um, yeah add a section and stuff like that to this and here you can also see that right now not all the groups are being shown but the space itself so the area that belong together and if you right now once again go into uh, settings and then spaces and pages then you can also set up if you would like to show the my home or if you also would like to show the import message so depending what you like then under user activities you can decide if you would like to track your recent activities and frequently used apps uh, here also you can clear your history um, as shown um, if you of course don't track it then there won't be any entries uh, in the frequently used and in the recent activities so keep this in mind under user profiling there you can set up the use personalized search this is important for the enterprise search so if you hear within this loop icon if you would like to search um, you know, for for different apps or if you in general would like to search um, then here you can basically rank your results based on your um, recent activities based on your behavior and you can also customize and change the enterprise search if you want to and uh, yeah this is uh, important to know then within language and region um, like we we are have in the su3 in the sap gui you basically can uh, change and set up based on your language on your preferred date format time format um, and number formats or decimal format what you like to what the information should be shown and um, this doesn't change the way the data is being saved in a database these settings are just changing and setting up the way data is being shown and you are input the data into the input fields under default values i've also made an own video about the default values how you can um, yeah maintain the views um, what are the outcome of default values and um, but basically default values help you to um, yes yeah, stop um, inputting always the same data especially if you're working with the same company code with the same ledger with the same currency and stuff like that instead of inputting always the same data this will be automatically put into the corresponding input fields and pre-filled um, yeah this is really um, useful you should maintain as you also have the ability within the parameters tab in the SU3 in the SAP GUI. Then last but not least you have also the notifications where you basically um, can yeah, set up a few settings based on the notification if they should show up here um, on the top right next to your profile icon um, what if you would like to show the mobile notifications if also the high priority should be shown if it should be enabled and stuff like that. Then we have the added current page and this is important because within here you have a lot of possibilities to remove tiles, to add new tiles, to add groups, to change the section title and stuff like that. Um, you have also a more enhanced functionality like you have in the app finder. So um, here edit or um, yeah, added current page is really useful um, for you. Let's just um, yeah remove the space to uh, get it this way back. Then here you can, as mentioned, also add groups. Then you have really important function 
about. I also made an own video about uh, the about function, but in general, it's important to know that within the about, you get the technical information about one app you are currently working with. Especially, I think most important is the ID or for example, the technical component ID, um, because based on those information, you can find out the old data service, you can analyze the logic behind the app and um, check also stuff in the background. Then you have the sign out, <laughs> especially if you would like to sign out and you also can click on this. But um, it's my opinion, I just closed the window then I'm also signed out because of inactivity. So yeah, as mentioned, this is a beginner's guide. Um, have a closer look on your own. If you like this video, please hit the like button. If you have any questions left, put them in the comment sections and please subscribe to not miss great upcoming videos. Thank you so much and see you in the next video.